And so we're really excited that we can always push the thresholds of safety within the industry. It's always important with the battery is not just the energy in it, but the power. So this is about 30% more power. It can be wall mounted, it can be floor mounted, and we can put three of these on an inverter. You can install that load control anywhere between the load center of the home and that device. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and we're coming back to you today from the RE Plus International Solar Conference in Anaheim, California. And I'm joined again by uh, this morning by Chris Thompson. Joe. And today we're looking at the Solar Edge home battery system. So Chris, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for coming by. I appreciate the chance to talk to you about our new products. Absolutely. Well, the Solar Surge audience is very interested in Solar Plus storage options, and we'd love to sure. hear all about the new solar edge home battery so okay. if you wouldn't take take it from the top yeah let me tell you a little bit about it the, the first thing that is always the most important with the battery system is safety and so i'm glad to announce that with new safety standards coming out which the first one is 9540 there's a second edition of that that came out recently and so this is fully compliant with 9540 and in even part of that, there's a 9540A uh, fire safety test that's done. And, and we've passed all that testing, it's done fantastically, and so we're really excited that we can always push the thresholds of safety within the industry, which has kind of always been one of our themes as, as a company. Um, but so this particular battery here is a 9.7 kilowatt hour battery. And what's always important with the battery is not just the energy in it, but the power. So this is about 30% more power than most systems on the market. It can be wall mounted. It can be floor mounted and we can put three of these on an inverter and so you get about 30 kilowatt hours um, out of an uh, uh, inverter power system. Just a word from our sponsor, Span.io and the Span Smart Electrical Panel. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus battery backup system for your home, then you're going to want to have maximum visibility and control of how much solar energy you're collecting, how much energy you're storing, and where that energy is being spent within your home. The SPAN Smart Electrical Panel allows you to dynamically control which circuits have access to backup power and which ones do not without the need of a separate critical loads panel and get up to 40% more running time on your battery backup. So feel free to go directly to the span.io website or you can just visit the link on the description below. It'll take you to the page, you can get more information or if you'd like to, get in touch with an installer right away. The other thing that's really important about batteries is how it communicates with the rest of the home. So with, this is part of the Solar Edge Home Network which is based on Google Open Thread, so it's a relatively high speed home networking protocol that, that's part of our ent entire network of uh, network products. And so one thing that's nice about that is when you go to install this battery and set it up, there's no communications wiring. So you, you plug in the DC cable, you hang it, you install it, and you're up and running. And with that network, you can commission it, do software updates, and, and basically monitor it very nicely. And then you may not be able to see it too well, but we have our app that is kind of part of that. And so with the app, you basically have the ability to look at you know, your PV generation, the state of charge of your battery. You know, our platforms are all DC coupled. And so what's nice about DC coupling is that if you have, a, you can go to a higher DC to AC ratio, and with a higher DC to AC ratio, you're not going to be clipping most of the cases. You can take that extra energy and you can put it into the battery. And so what's also nice about that is it's very efficient. You go directly PV to battery, they're both DC, and the conversion losses are very low, so it's very high efficiency. Um, you get lower losses, lower clipping, and you can still monitor your whole system and then integrate that into the home. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, let, let, let's take a look at just kind of a rundown on the basic specs. You said, you yep. said 9.7 kilowatt hour storage. Yes. Um, what about in terms of uh, continuous power and surge power? Yeah, so continuous power is 5 kilowatts and surge power is 7.5 kilowatts. 7.5 kilowatts. Yep. And then you said that you can connect up to how many batteries per inverter? So it'd be three inverters. So this is the home hub inverter here. And so we've got landings here and you basically plug your battery into here. And so, so one of these inverters will do 30 kilowatt hours. Great. So on a single inverter, and again, this is DC coupled system. So coupled system, you know, as you guys know, you know, the DC coupled is more, more efficient in DC to DC battery charging. Um, you can do up to 30 kilowatt hours, give or take, uh, on a single inverter system. Exactly. And now, what about for folks that are looking for more of a whole house backup? Yeah, so for a whole house backup, you're going to add this box to it. So this is basically our transfer switch box. We call this the backup interface. This becomes the main interface with the grid. The inverters will land here, and it's a little bit hard to see, but there's three breaker, circuit two, three, breaker. Yeah. Yep, so the circuit breaker landings go there. 
the inverter will go here. This is 200 amp rated. You can do uh, line side tap with the main service entrance breaker on this as well, and that will disconnect you from the grid. And, and then you can have you know your PV and your storage all on this side of it. Um, and and we have our EV charger that's a little bit further down, but the EV charger can land over here as well. So even in an off-grid situation, you've still got EV charging. You can charge your EV from the grid, and you've got everything that's basically installed behind the backup interface. Excellent, excellent. So, what, what is a typical home backup? Let's say we're, you know we're here in Southern California. What does a yeah. typical whole home backup configuration consist of? Okay, so we've covered most of it so far. We've got PV, we've got storage, and we've got the backup interface. And so, the last thing I would add is this little tiny box over here. Um, I, I like to say it's a small box, but it's a big deal because this is what provides load control. So, when we typically look at doing full home backup, most homes have one to two loads that are basically a little bit too big to back up most of the time. So you're often going to see air conditioning, um, you could see you know, clothes dryer, large appliance or something like that. So as part of doing a whole home backup, you probably are going to want to have you know, one or maybe two of these. And then what that will do is it will do condition-based control of that large load or that appliance. So for example, you may say, it's a sunny day, I'm producing PV, I will back up my air conditioner and I will cool my home. But then maybe the sun goes down later in the day and you'll have the condition where, okay, I'm running on battery and I don't want to drain my battery. I want to extend the life of the battery. So therefore I'm going to turn off the air conditioner under that circumstance. And so this provides basically that full control loop to, to make intelligent decisions. This is all configured by the homeowner or the installer ahead of time. So once you get into the mode, the homeowner doesn't need to think about it. It will automatically control those loads, set priorities, and basically have maximum amount of comfort in the home, but also the maximum amount of runtime. And so that basically completes the solution for home backup and for full home backup. Excellent. You know, one other thing I should note, guys, especially for you installers out there, you know, having the monitoring and the load control is great for the homeowner, but there's also the benefit for the installer of you don't have to rip circuits out and put in a separate critical loads panel. Um, correct me if I'm wrong here, but the backup interface can install above the main breaker, correct? It, it can, yeah. You, so, you have that option there. We have two options of this, and you can get it with the extra breaker to do that. Exactly. Yeah. And, and then kind of to that point, what I'll add about this is with, with the load control, this is a wireless device. And so the flexibility that you get is you can install that load control anywhere between the load center of the home and that device. And particularly as we go around the country, we find some places like the load center may be in the basement, the load center may be outside, and in some cases it's easy to access it. So say you had a hot tub, you wanted to control that. You may say, well, I'm going to put the load controller outside of the hot tub because as an installer, it's easier for me to access that it, 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 rather than going into the homeowner's basement. And sometimes, you know, the load center is embedded in a sheetrock wall and very hard to access it. So the nice thing about wireless load control is it lets you put it any place between that and that gives them a lot of flexibility and, and convenience on installation. Excellent. Well, folks, this has been another presentation of the Solar Edge home battery and some of the other associated components that will allow for a whole house backup or, or partial home backup if you need. Um, as always, if, if you're a homeowner in the process of looking at solar plus storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote or maybe you already have a quote, you just need to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the best deal, um, as always, feel free to reach to us, uh, out to us on the link below there. It'll just take you to our website where you can set up a Zoom call with one of our experts here. Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from the videos that we're publishing here, uh, be sure to click on the like button. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we publish the new videos, you know, I know many of you would like to be here at the solar conference. You might not be able to come, but we're trying to make sure you stay up to date with the latest product information. So by hitting that subscribe button, it'll just make sure that as we put the new videos out, you won't miss anything. Well, folks, I thank you for taking some time to spend with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.